Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network, restoring vitality to you and to the planet. I'm your co-host, Scott Patton, and joining us over there, got it right, is Martin Patella, health coach at Life Enthusiast, and this is our foundational series. We're going to be talking about the Exila products, and each video is going to feature one of the products, and today it's Exila 50. So, Martin, Tell us a little bit about Exla 50 and why people should be using it. Right. I think a wee bit of history might be fun. Uh, back in 1988, Javari Oberon, the founder of the original Life Enthusiast and the brand Exla, was at the end of his rope. He was about 31 years old, suffering from incredibly bad allergies to the point where he wanted to gouge his eyes out. He was suffering to the end and he prayed. He was quite a religious man, prayed to his creator saying, either find me or offer me a solution or please take me out of this misery. I don't want any more of this. And sure enough, he was blessed with what's known as the inventor's dream. He woke up in the middle of the night knowing exactly what to do. It was downloaded to him that he should combine 12 specific components that will combine into creating a life force rebuilder product. And this product became known as Excella 50. And he launched it in 1989. And by the time 1992 rolled in, it was selling as the most, ex, what, most what? The fastest growing network marketing company. The product was known as Exela. The business was called Life Enthusiast. And then in 1992, the FDA rolled in and uh, asked him to stop all production, cease and desist. Anyway, at that point, he had 72 people working for him and there were a half a million dollars in business. At the time the FDA came in, the business was selling $500,000 worth of this product every month. So that was about 10,000 bottles. And... They came back about a year and a half later, returned all the computers and said, yeah, carry on. Everything's fine. But that's not how it works. Not everything was fine because, of course, uh, in network marketing, you uh, uncertainty will kill your business. And it definitely put an end to the famous Life Enthusiast 1.0. To this day, there are many people who remember this. And they call us and they say, oh, I remember Exela. I do. Well, anyway, so the Exela 50 that we're looking at is the second generation of the original product. What is it about? It brings into play all the bits and pieces that your body needs to function correctly, metabolically, in a healthy way. It improves or fills the gap that the normal American nutrition offers. If you're eating in restaurants and if you're buying your food in grocery stores, you're buying food that's grown on fields that have been pushed with fertilizers they are depleted in multiple ways, the mineral deficiency and the soil-based organism deficiency. All of that combined gives you nutrition that's substandard, doesn't feed you well. Exela 50 is designed to bridge the gap. So is it, tell us a little bit about who the ideal person is for taking Exela 50. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the right question. Excel 50 is designed as the entry point to the superfood world. So if you're a novice, 
if you are finding yourself with a challenged health somewhere in the middle of your life, but it doesn't really matter what age you are, it will work well for children because it's not too strong. It will work really well for people who are quite weak because we need to very carefully try to bring them out of their weakened state, at least to functioning. So anyone who has had a significant health challenge, anyone who's just starting out on their journey into superfoods, XL50 is strong enough to bring you to wellness, but not so intense that it would cause you a detox reaction or some other difficult situations. It's just right. Let's call it the Goldilocks formula. Not too weak, not too strong, just right. I remember when I was first introduced to Exla and I had this bottle and I was like, how much should I use? And you you didn't really ever give me an answer because the answer is as much or as little as you need. And one of the things that we're not used to in our society is listening to our bodies, right? So, yes. you know, so I, I wanted to know, you know, 3.5 grams or half an ounce or like, and there, that isn't, it's the wrong question to ask, right? It's like, take a little bit, see how you feel, take a little bit more, see how you feel. And, and eventually you'll get to the point where you go, yeah, like this is the right amount for me. I feel good on this amount of, of whichever excellent product it is. Mm -hmm. And this, I have to say, Martin, that uh, this line is the only line of products I've ever taken where when I run out, I feel it. I go, oh, like my energy level is not as high as it used to be, or I'm getting colds more. I'm not as sleeping as well and all, and all the rest of it. And that's what you really want to do is you get the bottle, you take a tablespoon or two in, in water or juice, see how you feel. And almost, I think you almost have to put it on your calendar, you know, check at five o'clock. How do you feel? <laughs> check in the morning. How were, how are you, you know, how was your sleep? Did you wake up refreshed or did you wake up tired? And, uh, and then notice the differences because really our health is all about listening to our bodies. Like we should be listening to our body when it says I'm hungry or when it says I'm thirsty. Instead, we watch a football game and we have snacks and beer and chips and, and Coke all over the place. And we're just downing it as we're watching the game mindlessly. Right. And then we wonder why our health isn't very good. So part of this journey of health is not just taking the right products. It's paying attention to your body. Are you getting enough exercise? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you relaxing enough? Are you exercising enough? Are you, you know, are you drinking enough? Are you eating enough? What are you eating? And that awareness is something I think over the last 20 or 30 years has been just kind of taken away. And Exla 50 is your first step on getting back to being a natural human being. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're sort of branching off into trying to cover the whole life, right? The metabolic health is not all just about food. It's also about knowing when, right? The timing of things. Water is really important. Energized or destructured water that's been charged properly. I mean, we can get into those conversations and should. Drinking that kind of water improves things a lot not just these nutrients, right? You need to have the right amount of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. And genetically, each one of us is different. So we need to be aware of all of that. But the important bits about XL50, what you want to know is that it will fill the nutritional gap and bring you, even if you are eating not so great, the other meals, as long as you take about three teaspoons of this every day, your nutritional needs are covered. We could get into talking about all of the wonderful pigments, all of the nutrients that are in these superfoods. You know, when you when you look at the list of ingredients, it's not a short thing, right? We start with grasses, juiced, juiced sprouts of barley, kamut, alfalfa, and watercress. Those are 
awesome sources of chlorophyll and other important nutrients. And then we mix that with spirulina, chlorella, dulse, dunaliella, and kelp. All of these are from the sea. Well, the chlorella is not sea, but most of these are chlorophyll-rich, mineral-rich plants or living, I don't know if you should say algae is a plant. It's, it's the organism that's half plant, half animal. But anyway, it's uh, the source of pulling in all of the nutrients that are found in the ocean into itself and handing it to you. And then we have high pectin apple fiber. I don't know if you've heard of pectin or pectosol. That stuff is really important because it's an important binder of toxic things. And fiber helps you move things along. We add golden flax, rice bran, chia. We add glucomannan and then slippery elm. All of this is really important in increasing the fiber content in your nutrition. Fiber is one of those totally underappreciated things where our ancient ancestors way back before industrialization are known to have used about 100 grams of fiber a day. Nutritionists today suggest that at least 35 grams a day is needed. And uh, the typical North American industrial diet gets you maybe 10. So it's really important to supplement something that delivers fiber. And uh, XLA50 is one of those sources. And then we add to it not erythritol and not maltodextrin and not stevia and not some other ugly things like sucralose. We don't sweeten this artificially. What we do is we use essential oils. These are essences of plants. The ones we use include uh, uh, sweet orange, lemongrass, frankincense, and white rose. And we add to it extract of raspberry seed. And then we push in the the vitamin complex. There are special plants that are really high in vitamins, especially vitamin C. And for that, we use schizandra, acerola cherry, elderberry, aloe, ginger. And then we also put some important pigments into play, which is cayenne, saffron, and silymarin from milk, thist milk thistle. This stuff automatically helps to manage your liver health, your detoxification pathways, your ability to build bile mm -hmm. and digest food properly. And then the important bits, we add sunflower lecithin. Lecithin is an emulsifier. It helps you or your body transport all the fats on the water-based transport systems. Your blood and your lymph are water or based on water. Whereas when you want to move something that's fat, you need to first emulsify it. And lecithin is that tool. And then we add coenzyme Q10. That's where the 50 in this product name comes from. If you're using a typical daily dose of three teaspoons, you'll get 50 milligrams of coenzyme Q10, which is plenty to keep you smart and to keep your heart working really well. And we add to it royal jelly. And we add to it a mix of vitamins and minerals that have been uh, consumed, I guess that's the word, processed by uh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is the fancy name for brewer's yeast. Yeast is a really interesting thing. Yeast is a farmer. It it consumes things when it, well, it, it consumes primarily starches, but whatever you mix with the starches, the yeast will absorb into itself and makes it available as in bioavailable. So if you put vitamin E or vitamin D or 
uh, I don't know, any any other vitamin C or minerals like um, chromium or vanadium or other trace minerals, if you feed it to the uh, to the yeast, it will become bioavailable. And finally, the last bit that we put into this mix is what we call stratiflora, which is a blend of very wide profile of the, um, what are they called, probiotics. Well, we use a mix of probiotics and prebiotics, but in this case, case it's mostly the probiotics. Um, I think it's about 48 different species that we put into here. You will see advertising on television for the famous yogurt where they are so proud to introduce two species of the lactobacillus. We go out and we put in 49 of them in there, mainly because we think that the broader the uh, spectrum of what you're introducing, the greater the chance of your body picking out what it needs and promoting it. And we enhance it with a symbiotic soil flora, kombucha, and fructo oligosaccharides. Those are mainly inulin, mainly from agave. Anyway, it's wonderful stuff that supports your digestion and elimination and your ability to extract nutrients from what you eat. So Exila 50 is an amazing foundational um, superfood for you to use, particularly if you're on the beginning of your journey and, and looking to improve your health. And as you can see from Martin's description of what's in it, it's a pretty complex thing. And to be able to have everything balanced so that it all works synergistically uh, in your body to improve your health and your vitality is quite an accomplishment. And it's not something that someone figures out overnight. It takes a lot of contemplation, prayer, guidance, both from within and without and above. And and, uh, and then it's finding out and sourcing these things. And, and we'll not get into that today, but we don't just go to the grocery store and pick up some something off the shelf and stick it in to, and there you've got that done, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's a complex yeah. process. You know, those initial years between uh, 88 and 92, when this product was being developed, it went through a very steep learning curve because they had the opportunity to interact with thousands and thousands of people. So the feedback loop was running really quickly and uh, there are probably about 20,000 hours of testing and research in this product where it's you have the inspiration and you know how to put it together, but then you take it to the field and you fine tune it. And a really interesting bit is about ingredients. Like, for example, alfalfa, right? Like you, it's just one of the things that we spec in. You can buy alfalfa for $3 a pound or $12 a pound. If you want the best, you're buying alfalfa leaf juice that is organically grown and that is um, freeze-dried right on the spot, typically using radiant, radiant heat. The other extreme is you just buy some alfalfa hay that you would normally feed to horses and mill it up. Both of them can or allow you to put alfalfa on the label. But there's a huge difference in what you get and how you get it. Or I remember, I remember buying this uh, uh, kamut grass. It came to us and it was, it was made sweet with maltodextrin. A lot of manufacturers will use maltodextrin as as a crutch when their product is crappy they just push in maltodextrin into it to just make it more palatable. We don't allow that. That that particular sample went right back saying, no thanks, we're not going to be using 
your product, you're just old, adulterating it. We want the whole thing and nothing but nothing but what we're specking in. So to wrap it all up and tie a bow on it, Martin, we can say that the Exila 50 superfood is created with love. That too. We actually have our staff focus and <laughs> during the production, they are really asked to do it with reverence. So it is truly made with love, love, appreciation for life and for just having the ability to carry on. Awesome. Martin, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy day to share the story of Exila 50. And this is our first in a series on the Exila product. So make sure you tune in, make sure you subscribe below so you don't uh, miss any episodes. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thank you.